Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to do a quick video for you. I don't know how quick it'll be because I have a few things to add. Um, so I received a package today from Lord and Taylor and I've never purchased from Lord and Taylor and I probably will never ever purchase again from Lord and Taylor. Um, I made this purchase back June 1st. Um, it was late in the evening, June 1st, and I saw this item and I thought, ooh, it's a great deal. I have to have it. I want it. So I placed the order. Um, something told me take a picture of the order number and save it just in case. Um, usually within 24 to 48 hours, I usually receive a confirmation number because I do a lot of purchasing online and I didn't receive anything. So I waited two to three days and I gave them a call and I said, hi, my name is Sylvia and this is what I ordered and I haven't received anything. She said, well, do you happen to have your order number? And I said, actually I do. And I read her my order number. She said, oh yeah, well that hasn't even gone through yet. And I said, well, it's been like three days. She said, oh yeah, well, we're having some issues with our website and a lot of people's orders are taking longer to go through and I said well where on your website does it say that she said oh well it doesn't it's something that needs to be done fixed etc I said okay well what does that mean I said well then can I cancel it since you don't know when it's going to be processed when she's all no because it's not technically in the system yet so I can't cancel it so I said, okay, I had some interesting words for her. I was very polite, but I was very stern in the fact that I was disappointed in their company and I felt misled and whatever. So I left it at that. I waited a few more days. I got an email. It was probably, this was probably about June 12th. And it said, um, it said, um, your order is being processed. Okay. So I got a tracking number, couldn't track it for at least two to three days. And because I have something called shop runner, um, I thought, okay, I'm going to get this within three days. Today's June 21st. <laughs> um, and it came through the United States Postal Service, which there is nothing wrong with it, but... I think they like took it by bike, walked it a couple of miles, put it on a train, threw it in a semi, and then finally delivered it to my post office because I don't think that it should have taken seven, eight days to get here. I don't know. I'm very frustrated. I don't even know if I want this. Um, I'm not going to ship it back because I got a phenomenal deal on it. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. I might sell it on eBay. I might keep it. I don't know. I bought this wallet prior to purchasing the Coach wallet. Um, that's the trifold in the color uh, fog, dark fog. And I purchased this wallet thinking it was one color. Yeah, it is a different color. <laughs> So here it is. It is from Michael Kors because I wanted a wallet that opened and I could lay my, my bills flat. I ordered this wallet. It is in the color Admiral. Admiral is blue. I have blue wallets. I have a lot of blue wallets. I thought I was getting like a blush color. Nope. This is what she looks like. I actually had this wallet before and I sold it. And because I've been really wanting a wallet that holds my cash, I went for this one. And it's in Safiano leather, leather, Safiano leather, excuse me. And it has Michael Kors in gold. ID window here, pockets there. Pockets there. Uh, I don't want to take everything out just in case I decide to sell it. 
I got a great deal on it. I feel like I should keep it, but I'm so bitter with that company. So bitter. Like, I never want to buy anything from them again. This is Michael Kors right there. This is a fantastic wallet. I actually had this in black, and I sold it because I was annoyed at the fact that it didn't have anywhere for my change. And I know that these now come with, um, they've adjusted them, so now they come with a little change pocket there. I don't know if I want it. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to get Admiral Navy Blue. I have blue wallets. I don't know. Tough decision. <laughs> Not really, but decision I have to make. Um, I love the wallet. I love the layout. I think I was annoyed too because I think I expected the window to be on this side and then these to be on the side. Stupid reason to return it or not to return it but to sell it but I just wasn't happy and I don't know. I love this wallet but I just feel like I hate where it came from. I hate the issue I had to deal with with the coach wallet. I ordered it. It came three to four days later. Came from the East Coast, just like this Lord and Taylor box. I got a phenomenal deal on this. Like, I feel like I should have bought five. It was that inexpensive. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Anyways, that's my experience with Lord and Taylor. Hopefully, if you purchase from that company, you don't have this experience. It's been just annoying. Um, it's not, you know, a big to do, but it was very obnoxious to have to deal with being someone who purchases online. Um, a lot of her stuff, um, I've never had to deal with a company like this before, and I will never put myself in that situation again. It was a phenomenal deal, but I don't really know how much I'm excited about it because I got another wallet in its place because I thought it was never going to come. She said, I don't even know when it's going to come. So anyways, that's my story about this wallet <laughs> from Lord and Taylor. Um, comment down below what you think I should do with it. Should I sell it? Should I keep it? Should I give it away? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know who wants it, but <laughs> um, I'm sure I can find friends who want it, but um, I don't know. Should I sell it or should I keep it? Please comment down below. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.